Hello, and welcome to this video discussing how to mask personally identifiable information, or PII, using CrippleStream. We will be exploring two ways to accomplish this goal, using the mask function available in stream and the eval function also available in stream to mask extracted fields from an event. On screen, we have the stream UI. We are currently in processing pipelines and viewing a specific PII masking function made for this video. On the right hand side, let's load up a captured sample to illustrate what our functions in the pipeline are actually doing to our data. Before we turn on any functions, let's get to know our data. To start, we can see that this data comes to us in a Splunk-esque format. It includes fields like underscore raw, index, and source type. If we expand the raw field, we can see a lot of information comes with these events. To make this easier to read quickly, I have formatted it in a simple text editor. Here we can see all the information carried in raw. I have highlighted the PII we want to mask today. ESN, or electronic serial number, social, short for social security number, we really want to mask this one, and card number, another small but mighty piece of personally identifiable information. Let's get back into stream and start masking this data. On the left hand side of the screen are our functions for this PII masking pipeline. The first function here is a mask function. Sounds like just the right tool for the job. Here we can see three regular expressions meant to grab the PII in the raw field and apply certain masking practices to them. Let's expand the first one to show how the regular expression grabs the social security numbers out of the payload and replaces it with an MD5 hash. Neat. Closing out, let's check out the second regular expression, this time catching any ESNs in the event. Here, we can see the numbers, and letters, get replaced with 12 Xs. Pretty useful that Stream can show us the regular expressions working in real time on real data. No need to guess and check like with some other products out there. Closing the ESN masking rule, let's expand the final entry meant to capture credit card numbers and replace them with removed. This way, we know something was done to the data, but nothing was left over that would allow third parties to do nefarious things. By the way, this search bar up top allows us to search for saved regular expressions in stream. Meaning, if I can't quite remember how to grab, say, a social security number using regular expressions, I can type social in the search, click the result, and voila! People think I'm smarter than I really am. This also works for other PII. Moving on, if we enable this function and save, we can see how it affects our captured events on the right hand side here. ESN, masked. Social, masked. Card number, masked as well. And with just five minutes, we have stripped the PII out of this data stream. Looking at how we did it though, we used regular expressions. Admittedly, Regular expressions can be tough to create and oftentimes are a huge time sink. So let's look at another way to mask this data. Masking extracted fields. We'll turn off the original masking functions so that we can see the effects of our other functions in action. Looking at our next function in the pipeline, this is a parser. Said parser will look through the raw field and extract any key value pairs, then it will insert them into our event as new fields entirely. Let's turn it on and we'll see on the right hand side here a bunch of green entries in our event. These are all the new fields extracted from raw. Our ESN and social and card number all have their own fields now. This means that our next function can just edit those fields directly, no need for fancy pants regular expressions. Speaking of our next function, it's an eval. These functions allow us to edit the content of a field in our event we've chosen to edit the three previously mentioned fields. This time, however, instead of inserting things like 12 X's or removed, we'll just hash all the values. We're doing this to illustrate that the user can choose whatever they like. Once we enable this function, we can see on the right-hand side, our three fields now have gobbledygook as their values. All that's left is to put the new values back into raw and delete all the erroneous fields, the stuff we just extracted. 
The next function, serialize, puts our altered fields back into the raw part of our event. We can see this by the way raw turns orange after we enable our serialize. See? Here are our hashed values for social, ESN, and card number. If we look at some basic statistics though, we can see that our events have grown rather large. 100% increase in bytes. Well, yeah, that's because we added a copy of all the key value pairs in raw as their own fields. At scale, this can start to add up, especially if your sim license bills by storage. However, our last function deletes the newly added fields from our event to keep down size and get rid of repetition in our destination. We are using the eval function again, but a separate section of it, keep fields and remove fields. We have configured it to keep all the original fields like host and index, but we will eliminate all the other fields denoted here with an asterisk. Enabling this final function, we see our event shrinks back down to the original size and all the green fields are gone. However, the raw field remains orange illustrating the changes we've made. To review, we masked personally identifiable information, PII, in the data stream using two methods, masking directly in raw and masking in extracted fields. Which way works best for you? Well, if you want to check, stream is free to download and use for up to one terabyte of ingested data per day. And, pulling back the curtain a little bit here, the events we use for this video ship with the product meaning you can test out your own PII masking solution without the need to wedge stream into your production infrastructure. Thank you for watching this video discussing how to use Cribble Stream to mask PII in real time from a data stream by using either regular expressions or masking extracted fields.